Good morning from Ehrenberg, Arizona. California is uh, that flat part right over there. Right over yonder, yonder over the Colorado River. Okay, here's what's going on. Dan's been running great. However, there are a few things, especially if you saw yesterday's video uh, and all the other videos, there are a few things going on that need to be fixed. Also, um, all right, so let's talk about that first. So we are leaking, me and Dan, about one gallon of oil every 5,000 miles. And if you saw my eco-friendly thing, that's not cool. Uh, I don't want to leak that much oil. And I haven't known, didn't know how to fix it. And so badge is going to help me with that as well. We got the shocks done. We checked on the heater thing. Uh, we talked about the AC. I got a part for that. Um, the blinker doesn't stay in the blinking position. It also smokes from time to time. The column shifter might be broken. Um, Badge thinks so. And I can get a whole new steering column for, I think, about 100 bucks. Individually, I would have to buy the parts brand new and it would probably cost me like three, 400 bucks, perhaps. So I think the best idea is to go to the junkyard, try and find a steering column, and then come back here and fix it. Also, I was going to have a gig in Kentucky. Uh, that's not happening as of right now. That was, uh, I was going to make some money and that was going to help out, but that didn't work out. <coughs> so, that has opened my schedule up and my family wants me to come back for a week to help out around the house and basically like move a bunch of stuff. So I'll be flying back and might have a break in the videos for about a week. That's going to so be flying out like the first end of the first week of uh, February. Um, I will be going east after I fix up some of the stuff on the bus. I might come back here after I get back from the trip, grab a steering column, like I said, grab some other stuff, and get Dan in tip-top shape to make it through all the other states with no problems. And here's why. Ugh. Since I have such a nice person, like Badge, helping me out, uh, thank you, Badge, by the way. <laughs> Sincerely, thank you. Uh, it's been awesome hanging and working on the bus and learning stuff. And So, opportunity cost. Option one, I could have gone east. I could have made money. And then if I broke down, it could have cost me perhaps what I made. Right? See what I'm saying? Now, like I said, not going to make money. That didn't work out. So, the other option is save money on gas and fuel because it's getting super expensive. It's 140 bucks to fill up each time. That goes about 600 miles. Uh, option two is to save money on gas, uh, fix things for relatively very little cost for a couple hundred bucks compared to thousands. And then after things are fixed, like the oil leak, then head east. So, um, I don't want to go east with the potential of something happening that could cost a lot of money. I think it's smarter to fix things here and now. Also, if somebody snags a bus after I do all the 49 states, I want it to be like <laughs> in tip-top shape. I've heard the brand new RVs are just problem prone and I want this thing to be like bulletproof for the next person so that's why well also I want to be safe I don't want to break down so that's the reasoning for that now today we're gonna work on the oil leak I'll check in with you in a sec all right we got master mechanic badge dry in there, man. yeah looking for the uh, oil leak and uh, we also had another rat nest that we tossed out. So I think we found the little critter that was crawling in here with uh, when I had Cody and Josh with me. No evidence of oil here. If there, a, a very common oil leak is in the valley between 
this left part and the right side, but there's nothing there. So, we'll take a look what do you side. say? All right. So this is another thing. Right where the light is shining is another location of potential leaks, but there's nothing going on there. There's no oil residue, no fresh oil. Everything on the inside is pretty dry too, if you can see way down there. That's another location, that little, I don't know if you guys can see that, way down in that hole, let me zoom in. Nothing. All right, so, doing mechanics and operating a camera, especially this camera, A7S II, is not a good idea. I think in the future, it, when I do mechanics, I should definitely use like a GoPro, then I can wash it off. Uh, and I need to upgrade to those all-in-one weather sealed like a five or a six because my four, it can't handle the grease, you know, as well as like a five or a six could. So, a little update. Uh, the, the place where, the location where the oil is appearing is all cleaned off. Do some uh, brake cleaner and wiped it down. I'm gonna drive to town and back to do some errands, but also to try to see where the leak appears. Apparently it's important to clean it up, drive it around, and then look for the leak or start it up. So, we also fixed up a few things, and um, including some wires, which you won't really notice, but this wire, all the wires down there too, we all, uh, badge suggested we clean it up. I also took off this switch here with his suggestion. I should say he took it off. That is for my rear fan for the AC, which the AC is currently not working, but this is real, it's not really working so well. It's all these things like move around and stuff and they kind of like short out and stuff, it's weird. So we're gonna put it like right up here, next to the eject button, which you never wanna hit the eject button. But we'll put that right there. Um, what else? Uh, Badge doesn't think that the air door actuator is broken, so we're not gonna rip the dash apart, but I am gonna get the AC fixed. That will hopefully alleviate the problem. Um, what else? Yeah, go to the parts store, laundry, grocery store, all that fun stuff. Got myself a steering stabilizer to match all of the brand new shocks. And I got myself a uh, radius arm bumper. That's uh, the, the part that goes, it goes metal to metal right now, but it probably won't because I have brand new shocks. But just in case, that's to protect from that. Got some paper towels. Got these eco-friendly sanitizing wipes uh, for sausages. More tortilla, we'll tell them, call them tortilla chips. Got some wipes for uh, the bum. More disinfectant wipes. Salsa, cheese, sauerkraut, onions.